Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you some gift ideas which follow the Granger lifestyle. So these are things that you could give to friends or family members. So actually to start, I just want to run you through what the Granger lifestyle is. I use Granger lifestyle to refer to a lifestyle which incorporates productivity, studying, reading, kind of coziness and also wholesome living. It's the kind of life that I try to go for how I try to live my life. That's the tag that I principally use with my channels, but I just want to run through some gift ideas and some products which I feel fit the Granger lifestyle. I created a list on Amazon where I added loads of products which I thought uh, related to the Granger lifestyle. This video isn't sponsored by the way. It's quite a long list, I think there are about 50 items on there and I will be adding to it. So to access this list uh, you can click on the link in the description box and it will take you to Amazon directly. Keep in mind that if you buy anything directly from the wish list, then I will get a small percentage of the profits. Uh, I just want to let you know because I understand if you don't want to buy it that way and if so you can just copy the link into a different tab. But I do want to I do want to share these products with you and the scheme that Amazon offers to share this wish list, I think is quite beneficial. So the first thing is of course books and this can be absolutely anything. I think any kind of book is valuable. I'm actually thinking of filming a video where I talk about the 50 best books that I've ever read, just going through each one of them. If there's something you would like to see, then I will try and film it. So then stationery, with the Granger lifestyle, it's more based on classical stationery. So the things that I would say fall under the stationery category would be things like quills. They really do vary in price. The Feather Factory sells rather cheap quills which actually do write very well. Also ink bottles, again they vary in price. My favourite is the Parker. Maybe blotting paper, parchment, I get my parchment from Amazon actually. I like Lamy pens, um, I really love my Lamy pen, it's my favourite fountain pen. Also things like brown paper which is really good for DIYs. I put chalkboard stickers on this list or little cloth bags, things which are quite good for sending letters because that's rather a large part of the Granger lifestyle. My friend Ruby and I send gifts to each other in the post and it's a lovely surprise when you come back from school and there's this little parcel on your bed. Then candles. Candles are one of my favourite things. So for example things like candlesticks, uh, also candlestick holders. I've got this really lovely one from Amazon. I got this a few years ago, about £4 at the moment. Perhaps tea light holders as well, so I, this is my favourite tea light holder. It's really lovely, it's got this forest print on it and when you put a tea light inside it projects this forest print around your room if you have the lights off. Perhaps even candelabras, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, or wall mounts for candles. Or if you know that somebody isn't allowed to have candles in their room, maybe fake candles. And of course, scented candles. Scented candles are just so cosy for autumn and winter. Uh, I really love pumpkin scents. On the topic of candles as well, you could get someone a candle making kit and whether that's one which you buy as, as a kit because you can buy box boxes which are filled with all of the goods that you'd need to make them but you could also get someone some beeswax, some wicks and then maybe some jars. It's not necessarily a candle but you could get someone sealing wax and a sealing stamp Ceiling stamps are actually surprisingly affordable. Harry Potter Crest ones are quite pricey, but I found these um, singular letter ones on Amazon again, and they're only about one or two pounds each. I think another thing which does fall under this Granger Lifestyle Products list, this gift guide, could be clothing. And I know it's it can be often very hard to shop for to shop for clothing for people. So I was thinking maybe having something like a clip-on collar. I don't actually have one, but I know that you can get them. Also jumpers, big Nordic jumpers, or cardigans, or pinafore dresses, or shirts. Those kinds of things can make really good gifts. So then under the category of games, perhaps something you could get someone or ask for could be a book of crosswords. Similarly, you could get a book of riddles. I got a book of riddles, Einstein's riddles, last Christmas from my parents. I really am for anything which allows you to stretch your brain whilst also being fun. Maybe you could even get someone a book of educational jokes. I was also thinking maybe about puzzles. Quiz games are usually very good. Around the world snap where you try and match the capitals and the flags and the shapes of the countries. Now I'm going on to the more miscellaneous items. Perhaps one thing that you could 
brand to get someone is a watch. So my watch is by a company called Citizen Eco Drive. I really love this watch. I wear it every day. I think a watch is a really personal item to get somebody because you will end up wearing it all the time. This is a rather odd thing. Dining goods, plates and bowls and glasses. Because you can get some really lovely ones, especially mugs. Oh, and on the topic of mugs, tea. Of course you could get somebody tea. But yes, with, with plates and bowls, I've got this, I got my, my dad this really lovely bowl which says, please sir, may, may I have some more? And you can also get nice, really old fashioned printed bowls and plates, especially in charity shops. Another thing which you could get something is to get a wash basin and bowl. It would make a good gift, I think, for somebody who does like things which are a bit more old fashioned. I was also thinking as well about jewellery boxes or music boxes. I found a really lovely one on Amazon actually when I was looking and um, it's a gramophone and then there's a tiny drawer where you're able to store maybe a few necklaces or bracelets. So thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it helpful in some way. Thank you again and have a productive week.